Um, my name is David McAllister. I work with CBM. And I'm not going to make a statement, but ask a question. With the exception of Mr. Mitchell, who understands the inclusiveness of disability and development, I'd like to ask the candidates their opinion of that. We will never, in our opinion, reach any of the Millennium Development Goals. We want to quantum leap unless disability is included in the main action platform. Could I address this, I forget your name, I'm sorry, to the Sinn Féin delegate, because she did mention the Millennium Development Goals with a bit of passion, but nobody has mentioned disability, and I have to say, Mr. Mitchell has given us, in the Russell platform, a huge boost. But development is not a flip switch to gain votes. He's put in time and effort, and I would like to ask specifically the Sinn Féin, what do, you, what do you understand about Millennium Development Goals, and how are you going to achieve any of them? I mean, I think there's an obligation on all of us who are, who are elected, whoever we are uh, elected in this state, to really crank up the pressure on our own government in terms of meeting their, their obligations uh, in terms of ODA. I mean, I, I think that we bear a huge responsibility for that. I also agree with you that we have a, a responsibility to actually communicate what the Millennium Development Goals are and to make that actually understood <coughs> amongst a, a broader community of people to nearly democratise the issue uh, of, of development and, and global justice and so on. Thank and that's not something that's always prioritised in our work. But we want 20% targeted at basic health, and we've made it clear, not just in my group, but across the groups, ourselves and the Socialists in particular, and the Greens, I have to say, are active in that committee as well. We have said that we want disability to be a part of that. Now, we've built in a mid-term review. That mid-term review will come in the next uh, Parliament. We also have the European consensus, which is, which is what the European heads of state and government want. So the more you push on this, I think the more we can achieve on it. But it is part of the health umbrella. But unfortunately, there are just so many problems with malaria and all sorts of other things that often people miss out on the fact that having a disability, you go to Rwanda, the number of people with disabilities is quite shocking. And they miss out on the fact that there is a specific need for people with disabilities in the third world to get um, special attention. And the work that you've been doing has been having an impact on the development committee. We can continue with the new parliament, please, God. I'd like to just talk about peace and justice very briefly. And I want well, to commend- Could you frame it as a question? Well, I just want to commend the work that's been done by the Irish MEPs in this area. Uh, specifically, what can the EU do to ensure that the UN Security Council backs the recently announced UN HRC investigation into Gaza and continues to the implementation of its findings. I exposed in the Dáil a few years ago a company that had a few dozen people here, a multinational corporation, but put hundreds of millions of profits through this book, through its books here, to avail of the low tax level. But that was money that was made in Africa and Asia. So it was stealing, robbing blind from the poorest countries in order to benefit this multinational, the Irish government was facilitating that. I, I think all I could do certainly uh, is expose the utter hypocrisy of the Security Council. I have to say it's the last place I would look for a solution to any of the problems. In the Security Council you have represented some of the biggest gangsters and robbers in this world, inflicting some of the worst human rights uh, uh, atrocities on their own people let alone be concerned about the, 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 the suffering people of Gaza. I do think, however, that we should use every opportunity and platform to mobilize mass opinion and actual mass mobilizations around the world to force the issue of uh, Gaza, a state for the Palestinian people, free and uh, democratic, uh, a, a, a state also for the Jewish people, free and democratic, the release of the resources in the area, from the hands of, of, of the oil companies and the rest of them, so that they can be developed for the benefit of all the peoples of the Middle East. In my view, mass movements of people and forcing their own governments, etc., would be much more effective than any hope that the, uh, the, the uh, people of the uh, Security Council of those states will bring a resolution. I mean, they have been there for the last 40 or 50 years while this, these atrocities are going on, and uh, they're still going on.